Hi, Chris McLoon here at FDIC International 2023. I'm at the How and How booth and I'm standing in front of a Thermite RS3. I'm with Captain Rich Dede. He's with the Los Angeles City Fire Department. We're going to talk a bit about this unit and why Captain Dede's department needs it. So Captain, why don't you just start, start, tell me about the unit that you purchased mm -hmm. and, and why it became necessary to do Perfect. so. Yeah, so uh, with the Los Angeles City Fire Department, we've been having a whole lot of commercial structure fires that is starting to have multiple fires in it. So as these fires continue to deteriorate the building and the structure compromised to that particular structure, we're still going into those to do rescues inside the building to pull people out that may be uh, inside there when the fire takes off. This particular machine uh, will go into a defensive operation with LA City. We go in originally on an offensive uh, posture, hose lines going in, people going to the roof. As the building gets more and more deteriorated, starts to collapse, we pull our people out to defense. This will show up in a defensive operation later in the incident, and it sets up for a long-term operation. Typically, it can go inside where the roof components are coming down or walls are collapsing or anything like that. So it's become a defensive posture for our city fire department on a long-term incident. Now, Every department has a budget. Um, so what were some of your concerns about buying a piece of apparatus like this as you started going through the purchasing process? Sure, yeah. Um, some, of, some of our biggest problems are is obviously everything's getting more expensive. It's tougher to get. Um, the cost of everything is going through the roof. Um, this particular machine, obviously, if we were to budget for this, it's a two to three year process in order mm -hmm. to get that money actually put into the budget. So by the time you get this in your facility, it could be anywhere between two to three years. Okay. Um, for us, um, we're fortunate enough in LA City, we have a nonprofit organization called Fire Foundation. Um, they donate, there's donations that come into the foundation, and then there's a pot of money that builds up for specialized equipment like this. So for us, we're super blessed to have a lot of the great donors for the city, and we were able to purchase this through a nonprofit organization with the fire department. Do you have any advice for fire departments that are in a similar situation, might not have a budget the size of, even though it would take, you know, even in LA City, uh, some time to, to get the money into the budget, they're still, if they don't have the size of that budget, what advice would you have for fire departments that are, that are in need of something like this and are starting to go through the process? Yeah, of course. Um, some, of the, some of the bigger things that we're finding that seem to be really um, challenging yet easy to do is uh, applying for grants that are offered through the governments. Um, so you may have any grant for Homeland Security. There's new grants coming out for green, the Green New Deal mm -hmm. stuff. So anything that the products that they carry, having more electric models, uh, battery power, so all that stuff brings the emissions down. This particular one that I use is a diesel emission. Um, so it goes in and out of a structure, no, no issues. Once you get to zero uh, oxygen levels, the, uh, the uh, electric models are gonna come into play. Um, couple other things think of your big box stores you know um, that may be in your district I know some areas and some townships don't have big box places but they may have a shipping company they may have oil companies they may have you know large corporations seek out to these folks and find out if they're actually interested in maybe donating to your cause that's that seems to be the easiest way to go okay so once you get through some of those purchasing challenges that we just talked about, what's the greatest benefit of having a vehicle like this, a robot in the field? Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. For us, uh, talking about 2,500 gallons a minute um, showing up with one platform. Uh, when you pull up on scene of an incident that's got multiple vehicles, multiple companies, multiple towns, multiple fire companies on scene, everybody's got a resource poor fire department anymore. So when I'm able to pull up and start managing that large volume of fire and then go into the transition where now it's just an overhaul that we're working. Mm -hmm. um, for me, it's one of those things that I can start releasing those companies to go back to their districts to actually start protecting their districts. All right, well, thank you very much, Captain Didi, for taking some time out My to pleasure. talk to us about this. If you would like any other information on any of the products from How and How, visit howandhow.com slash thermite. Again, this has been Chris McClune, FDIC International 2023. Have a good one and stay safe.